In September last year, over 4 million Americans left their jobs. It is an accelerating trend that is become known as the Great Resignation. 2021 has been the year of the Great Resignation. Great Resignation. The Great Resignation. The great Resignation. The Great Resignation. It's a trend where people just leave their job to maybe pursue something else completely, to try a new career, to travel the world, or even start a business. Last year, I spent a lot of time talking to recruiters and their there's only one comment that they all seem to share, which is that it is really difficult to fill job posts right now. So it begs the question whether the great resignation is actually happening in the UK. I mean, after all, there is a rising trend of surge in great resignation and anti-work in the UK. And more importantly, if this is actually happening, what does this actually mean for us? A recent number by National Statistics shows that jobs vacancies in November is at the record high of 1.2 million vacancies and one of the reasons for those high vacancies is the spike in resignation mm -hmm. so why there are high numbers of jobs available I think we can't really talk about the employment market without talking about what happened in 2020 because although in the UK we had a furlough scheme where the government subsidizes some of the salary payments for those employees that companies decide to keep them under payroll and although many people were fortunate enough to go under furlough scheme a lot of people were still fired from their jobs, especially those who worked in industry where directly impacted such as tourism, events or hospitalities. And those people who worked in said industry would definitely have a difficult time finding a new job in the same industry. So they kind of decide to start their own gig in this gig economy. You know when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And these people just never really came back to the job market. Poor work condition is another reason why people rethink their career. Now before the pandemic, life was different back then. We spent so much time traveling and so much of our personal lives were dictated by our jobs. And it was okay back then because we kind of really didn't know any better or we didn't really know what the world could be. And even though our work left us feel exhausted and sad, we just didn't feel like we had any other choice. And let's not forget that there were many office rules back then that were kind of acceptable pre-2020. However, there are definitely not acceptable now. So with everything that's been happening, people really start to care more about their time and their mental health. And with that reason, they start to rethink about the future, rethink their career and whether their needs are being met by their career. And if not, then they are definitely going to look for something else. According to Hayes, 30% of global workforce say that their companies are asking too much of them at time like this. And one in five think their employer doesn't care about their work-life balance. And okay, let's face it, some of us do actually have to deal with toxic people, being your managers or your colleagues. And it's really bad to say, but with these toxic people, it's easier to deal with them when you actually don't really have to see them. So now when companies are starting to go back to normal and they asking employees to go back into the office, either three days or full time, people in this position that they feel like they have to work with toxic people would just be relaxed to go back. From the conversations that I've had with many people, majority of them are really not willing to go back into the office full time. And to be honest, there are actually a good number of people who are not looking to go back into the office Ever. It's also important to point out that the majority of the resignations is driven by certain demographic. The blue collar workers or the lower skill workers are more likely to change jobs even though they're only marginally better off especially when it comes to benefits or work-life balance. Generation Z is also another group of people who are more likely to change jobs because they report feeling disengaged with their colleagues and having difficult time to stay focus or get excited about work. So what does this mean for us then? What does this mean for you and me, normal people like us who didn't start our own business or didn't get rich from buying meme coin, people who are still in the job market? 
well it is actually a great opportunity when the job number is at record high like this this just simply means that you and me we just have more options since i've entered the job market in the uk i've never felt that we as employees have so much negotiation power like we have now when i look at job posts now i see companies offering these benefits that i've never really heard of or we never seen before so if you're unhappy with your work condition or if you're unhappy with your pay if you feel like you're underpaid then negotiate with your company many companies report that they find retaining talent and recruiting new talent at this time around really difficult so therefore negotiate to get the work condition the terms and the pay that you want and although in general we know that there are high vacancies there are actually some jobs that are in shortage the largest number of hard to fill vacancies are nurses programmers and human resources officers, medical practitioners, welfare and housing associate professionals. Additionally, design engineers, accountants, marketing professions and vets are also on the list. So if you're someone who wants to join the trend of great resignation because you're unhappy with your work-life balance or your pay, then this list might be a great place to start because clearly there are more demand than supply. Now for me, I think what makes the great resignation interesting is that at the end of the day it kind of leads to the great reshuffling where people just really change jobs for better work condition and sometimes they change industry sometimes they stay in the same industry but it is just a reshuffling most of the time and i'm really interested to see what will be happening this year will the great resignation kind of continue or will we see a great boomerang where people who actually left the job market realize that the grass is not always greener and then come back to the job market again i mean who knows what is your prediction do let me know in the comments and if you like this kind of video then please let me know by hitting the like button or subscribe to the channel so that i kind of know that i'm doing a great job i'll see you in the next video